Welcome to Fox Little Art Club. Hey guys, it's been a while. I figured some of you may be bored in your houses and you want some fun projects to do with stuff from around the house. Um, so yes. I am going to demonstrate two different ways of print making. Yes. We are going to be using these foam containers for the second part of the project, so we can put them aside for now. Um, the first part of the project, we're going to be yes. using our cardboard as a base. Um, and so for this relief yes. print, we are going to be building on top of the cardboard with texture. The more yes. um, textured your item is, the more detailed your prints are going to be. Um, so I found things like feathers, yarn, string, popsicle yes. sticks. Um, you can also use smaller pieces of cardboard, yes. create a design, and then cut that design out and glue it on. this out and now we have, similar to our cardboard, a flat piece of foam. Some of you will notice that your foam has some indentations. Um, what I would recommend is just cutting out maybe around it. So I'm going to have two smaller stamps that I'm going to make for my release print. Um, so here's the size of mine and I make sure that there's no carvings in my foam. So I have my two foam pieces here. Um, all you'll need is a pen, yes. a ballpoint pen, and you can start to push into the foam and draw and create your design. Yes.
I just wanted to share, um, I'm printing the L backwards um, so that when I print it, it will be forwards. And I'm gonna give you that example. So I'm gonna do the L in the orange and yellow. So I am gonna paint the L backwards on the cardboard. Um, obviously you wanna wait till the cardboard dries. And then when I go to put the L down. So here's my L example backwards and forwards just to give you an idea of when you are printing. Um, it's going to be backwards. Same thing when you're carving. If you have any letters, your letters are going to end up backwards. Um, I also tried to experiment with the feathers. Um, these feathers are a little uh, crazy, uh, but the ones you find from a bird outside might be a little bit crisper. But it is kind of cool because you can see the details in the feathers here. So it gives it that wispy look. Um, here's another um, foam piece I did, and if I kept printing it, I feel like it's a really fun pattern to cover. And the, the feathers can even work as like a backdrop. So I have all of my different techniques. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with using what you have around your house.